When was Apple founded and by who? Apple was founded on April 1st, 1976 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. They started it in Jobs' parents' garage in Los Altos, California. Can you tell me which co-founder is still alive? Steve Wozniak, one of the co-founders of Apple, is still alive. He's been involved in various projects and is known for his contributions to technology and philanthropy. I'm not sure whether you already know this, but ChatGPT launched their voice conversation feature and it's absolutely mind-blowing. It's so scary, scary good. I really hope that Siri will come with the same capabilities, hopefully in iOS 18. I know for a fact that Apple is in touch and in contact with OpenAI to maybe integrate some of their features into iOS, into Siri, into the rest of Apple's ecosystem. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three amazing integrations of voice conversation on iPhone, how you can get it on your action button, on your lock screen, and also as a standalone app so you can immediately access this feature and ask any question you'd like on your iPhone as well. All right, let's dive into the video. I've actually put it in three different features on the iPhone. So the first one is right there on the action button and you can immediately access it. It's so amazing. It's now my default default shortcut in the action button that's one then also what we can do is we can put it on our lock screen there it is so if i press this i'm immediately opening the voice conversation mode on the app as well and lastly is that we have the possibility to add it as an app icon on our home screen that looks like that you press it just like that and immediately opens the voice conversation mode let me show you exactly how to do this obviously first of all you need to go to the app store and we need to download the free ChatGPT app made by OpenAI. There it is. It's this one that we need to have. And yeah, so make sure to download that. If you want, you can just open it and check whether it's the good application. This should be the default home screen. So the first thing we need to do in order to integrate the voice conversation feature in every of these applications, we need to make the first shortcut for that. So we start by going to the shortcuts app. There it is. And then we have to click the plus icon in the top right and next we need to add our first action so we click on add action and we're gonna search for chat gpt there it is we need to start voice conversation feature so let's click on that and basically we're already almost set the goal i'd like to call this a voice gpt so let's rename it click on the title in the top and then we're gonna call this voice gpt just like that and hit done while we're in here, we can actually already add a new icon and also add it to the home screen. In order to do this, we need to click on the eye icon here in the bottom middle. Then we click on add to home screen. And in here, you can actually select your own color or any symbol you'd like. But I really love to have like the nice chat GPT icon. If you want to add that first, you need to find it on the web. You can just search it on Google, the image, the logo, whatever. And then you have to add it to your photo album. And that's what I did so we do choose photo let's search for it and there it is we can edit it choose and now all that's left to do is just hit add in the top right and there is our app already we're gonna drag it to our home screen and there it is so yeah and now basically when you click on it immediately it will open the voice conversation feature so that's the first one next if we want to add it to our action button we need to go to settings in settings we scroll down to the action button we need to swipe to the shortcuts feature there it is and we need to choose our shortcut and here what you need to do is just search for chat gbt as you can see you don't actually have to use your own shortcut or the shortcut we just made but you can actually use the start voice conversation immediately from chat gpt itself and there it is now it's integrated and if i press the action button immediately the voice conversation feature opens so that's number two for the last one let's put it on our lock screen so we long press the lock screen and then we hit custom Customize. click on lock screen and we have the add widgets field we click on that then we scroll down and we search for shortcuts right here there we go we click on it we add it 
And then all that's left to do is when we're still in the edit field, click on the shortcut. There we go. And we scroll to our voice GPT shortcut. That's this one. So let's click on that. And now we should be good to go to immediately exit it from the lock screen, just like that. Let's try it out. Click on the shortcut and there you have it. You can immediately access voice GPT or chat GPT's voice conversation mode on iPhone. Extremely useful, extremely powerful. This thing is actually a game changer. Here. I hope that Siri will become so smart or at least a feature in iOS 18 will come that is as powerful as voice GPT. I have high hopes for that. But for now, this is really an amazing alternative, really a great use case of the voice conversation feature on iPhone. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for the next one with the bell icon and see you in the next one, guys. Peace.